Welcome to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea, and in my household, there's me, my husband, and our handsome little boy. On our channel, I make simple meals using convenient pantry and freezer staples. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having grilled chicken thighs, and the seasoning that I used on them, or the marinade, I should say, that I used on them is this um, Badia Saison Tropical, and it is very good. And here is what it has in it, coriander and annatto, and then serving just some buttered corn on the side, along with this fettuccine alfredo. I had it in my freezer, decided to use it. We've had it before, but we weren't really crazy about it. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having some sauteed shrimp and Caesar salad. I am using this um, shrimp skillet sauce mix, the sauce mix from Chef Jen. I've had it for a while and from what I've seen online, this company is no longer in business, but it's a rich and savory sauce. You just add butter to it. And then my Caesar salad, I've been making my own Caesar salads. I used to love the Aldi Caesar salad kit and then they changed the recipe and now the dressing is very heavy on the mayo flavor. So I don't care for it anymore. So I just use some romaine lettuce, some crushed croutons, some shaved Parmesan cheese. And I've been really enjoying this Ken's light creamy Caesar salad. And of course serving my, um, shrimp over some basmati rice. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having grilled pork steaks and I grilled them outside on my charcoal grill and this is the seasoning that I used. I actually picked this up from Aldi, I guess a week or so ago. Um, I picked this up and several other seasonings. I think they're seasonal items and some of their um, Asian barbecue sauces as well. And it is really very good, has a really great flavor. Serving it with some sauteed broccoli and then baked potatoes that I made in the air fryer. I always make my potatoes in the air fryer. I bake this at 400 degrees for an hour and they're always perfect. Got a little bit of salt on there, butter and sour cream. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having tamales and I am using these tamales from HEB. Never tried them before, but I am using my little steamer basket that I got from Aldi during Asian week. It's for dumplings and um, things like that, but I am going to be using them for tamales today. So I've got my tamales in there. Um, I'm sure they're not supposed to be double stacked, but this wasn't quite big enough to fit all of the tamales. So I'm double stacking them as you, you might be able to hear my water simmering below. And I'm just going to cover it with this lid and let these cook for about, I saw different things, but for at least 40 minutes or so. Okay, so here is dinner all plated up. I ended up steaming these tamales for about 50 minutes and I tasted the pork and it is spicy. It has a nice kick to it. Um, got some salsa on top. And then I'm serving some um, pinto beans uh, that I seasoned up with a little bit of garlic powder, onion powder, and uh, salt. And then I have some Mexican rice here, a quick and easy version. I've talked about this before on our channel. I prepare my rice as directed, but I add some of this tomato bouillon in there. Um, as well as tomato and chicken flavor bouillon actually. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having grilled hot dogs and I had these in my freezer from Aldi, trying them out for the first time today. And instead of chips or fries, which is what I would usually make with something like this, decided to have salad. So this is from um, Walmart. It's the Southwest salad. It's a cabbage blend, tortilla strips. Uh, it's There's white cheddar cheese and a chipotle ranch dressing. And then on the side, we are having some fresh buttered corn on the cob. 
We are going to dress our hot dogs when we get to the table. Howard's gonna put some ketchup on his and I'm gonna put mustard on mine. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time.